yo what's good welcome back to my channel today i basically have to push myself i had to yank myself away from my sketchbook right i just been having too much fun with it it's too much if you're not sketching make sure you sketching anyway i wanted to challenge myself a little bit more uh i'm gonna do this it's gonna be like the third serious attempt the third serious attempt of painting this face right here yeah i had a couple different ideas I had a couple different ideas of subjects, but I ended up just going with myself because I feel like I've done this attempt like three times now. And since I did this attempt three times, I feel like I still haven't done one successfully. So I'm gonna try to actually get one where I feel kind of proud of. Like, yeah, I did this. This is a self portrait of me. Cause the ones that I've done so far, I'm not really too proud of. So we are gonna try this again. Attempt number, shit. Attempt number like five. <laughs> we'll see. The Dewey is on. I already got the reference. I already took some reference photos. So we're going to go ahead and get into the sketchbook, do a quick thumbnail, do some quick thumbnails and plan things out. And then hopefully, hopefully, I get things on canvas and everything looks well and good. So we finna find out. So I spent about 35-ish minutes uh, doing a couple quick sketches. The first one, I really wasn't messing with too heavy. Um, I did like that I saw some early like spatial and shape-related problems, but the look of it, I really wasn't messing with it. The second one, I messed with heavy. Um, I like how I started it off. Uh, I like how I started it off with the construction and then worked my way out to the least important parts, which is like my sweater and stuff. So now I'm gonna spend a little bit more time thinking about, because uh, I'm actually gonna use watercolor for this. I'm gonna think about my plan of action for the watercolor. It sound like a plan. All right, so I got a decent block in going on. I feel like I went into detail a little too soon, but once I throw this watercolor on there, all of those details just gonna get mixed up, blended together. So I'm gonna have to work with it. So I did want to try to give myself enough information. So when I go into this, uh, so when I go into it with the watercolor, it's a lot more information that I have instead of trying to do a lot of guesswork. So I did most of that in pencil. So, so what I'm thinking with the watercolor is actually, I got a couple different ideas with the watercolor. Um, first off, with the face, I was gonna try. Oh, uh, with the face, I was gonna try warm flats and then cool shadows and then since my sweater is blue it's a cooler color i'm gonna try cool as the base and then a warm uh and then a warm shadow so i'm gonna see how this is gonna interact with each other and see how that play now the do-rag now that's different i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that one yet um, there is like a white highlight that's going across the head i might do like a flat black and then wipe off some of it just to indicate where the uh just to indicate where the, the highlights hitting the, the do-rag, but we about to find out. Coming into this, everything started off pretty good, actually. The one thing with the construction that I did was basically, one, I wanted to focus on the forms of things, but I was also mapping the shadows between uh, what's going to be in light and what's going to be in dark. The way I started it off was I looked at both the light side and the dark side. I started off with the darks just so I knew how dark I was willing to go. And then I can always make the darks even darker based on how much light that I put on. So when it came to adding the tone, I actually wet the area of shadow first with uh, just plain water to make things a flat tone. While it was still wet, I went in and add the color on on top. And then I let that dry completely and then went in with the lights and did the exact same thing. So my early stages of this, it was me basically bouncing around, adding a little bit of water and then adding the color on top, letting that dry and then gauging what areas I want to go darker on. 
Now, early on, I definitely was messing with the colors. Um, for this painting, I really stuck to mainly four colors. You see the palette that I have, there's a lot of colors on there. So what I did was I wanted to limit myself. So, so in order to limit myself, I chose four colors and I used this base brown for the natural skin tone. And then I mixed that with either a red for the light areas or this blue for the dark area. So my initial thoughts going into this was cool shadows for the face and warm areas of light. But while doing this, um, I started seeing myself get a little bit restricted on what I can do. So eventually I ended up adding orange. So the colors that I chose were, it was a brown plus red, and that was for the light areas, and then a brown plus a blue color, and that was for the, the shadow areas. And this is just for the face. And then for the sweater, I did basically the same thing where I lim limited myself to the same colors, but I used a different blue for the sweater so it can contrast with the face. So I didn't want the blues that I was using for the face to kind of uh, mix in with the blues that I was using for the, the sweater. I want to make sure that those two were grouped separately with the eye. This basically became like a dance of darkening things and then going back in other areas and then darkening those and then gauging whether those got too dark and then I had to darken the dark. So it, it really it really became of a bounce between, okay, I have to darken this, then darken that, then darken this, 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 and that. So that was what I spent a lot of time on. The color choices were Kind of at random, I just knew I was going to do warms and cools, but I do enjoy the blues that I was putting within the face. I do know that in the cheek areas, those are normally warmer colors, but this blue definitely did some different things that I was messing with it. Now, when it came to the do-rag, uh, I used kind of the same blue that I used for the sweater because both I knew both the sweater and the do-rag were probably the least important areas of this. The main focus is the face. I ended up using the same blue, but I darkened, a, I darkened it a bit just with a little bit of black. I only used a small amount of black for the do-rag area, and then I just left that area uh, that was highlighted just white. And, and I just made the decision to keep that white and just let it blend into the background. Well, I did end up liking how this was coming out so far, but Eventually, while I was working on this, my I started to get fatigued a bit and things started to look a bit, eh, started to look a bit iffy once I added more and more layers onto it. And it was also a play between making sure I wasn't taking too much focus off of the face. But what happened was once I was adding more tone onto the sweater, things started to get a little bit more busy visually. Now, the nature of watercolor is basically to just bleed everywhere. As I was adding more and more layers onto this, one thing I wanted to prevent was the watercolor to bleed everywhere. And I know that's kind of going against watercolor's nature, but hey, I wanted to try to control this as much as possible. So eventually I had to start using a lot less water and use more pigment. Whenever I'd add that water, it would reactivate the pigment that was already on there and lighten things up. So I didn't want this to happen. So what I had to do instead was use less water on the actual canvas itself. I just started spraying the palette and then just scoop as much pigment out as possible and then try to use more pigment than water. And what this did was I was able to stack a lot more layers than I thought I would. And then started patching up those super light areas where the white of the canvas was kind of showing through. So it's been a couple of days since I worked on this, hence the, uh, the outfit change. When I was adding around like the thirdish layer of the watercolor, I was having a lot of mixed feelings about it. So what I did, I just put it up uh, and wanted to come back to it later. So when I stare at it now, it's really not too bad as what I thought when I was initially doing it. So it was good for me to actually spend that time and get some time away from it because I was literally staring at it for like, I think I worked on it for like four hours during that third watercolor session. It's not as bad as I thought. However, as I add more watercolor on this, a lot of the colors are starting to muddy together. My thought process into combating this is to, uh, use more pigment than water. So it's not really uh, mixing together, but at this point it's more so just stacking more and more pigment on there. So to stop it from being super muddy together, um, I'm gonna put on the finishing touches. There's a couple areas in the portrait where I wanna fix mainly the lips. It's, it's like super discolored compared to the rest of my face. So I wanna add some changes on that. And then I'm thinking, trying to do a little bit more with the nose cause it is bothering me a little bit. Um, but at this point, I think it's an issue with the construction, the underlying construction of it, where it's starting to fall apart now, and I'm starting to see that. However, I'm not too mad about the outcome at the moment, but I still want to add these small changes to see how it comes out. And then I'm also thinking either light, adding lighter uh, pigment on the light side or trying to darken the darks a little bit more so I can have some contrast between the light and darks. I'm about to try something out and see what happens. I'm about to try something out. So your 
boy is finally ready to call this experiment finished. I'm ready to move on to the next project. I spent a lot of, I spent the, it's probably the longest I spent on a, uh, on an actual portrait. So kudos to me for actually sitting down, doing the time, taking a break. I actually took a break and then came back to it later. I actually really enjoy how it came out. It's probably, it's literally the best portrait I've done so far. So it's all good. Now, a couple takeaways when it comes to the watercolor and stuff. I do want to self critique so I can continuously improve on myself. Uh, first thing, number one, let's go over what I like first. Let's go over what I like first. I definitely like the beginning stage when I when I start putting down the, the flat tones. That early stage, I like how it was tur uh, starting out. It started getting a little bit iffy once. I guess I was going through the ugly phase and I never really pushed far through that. But I got a lot farther than what I actually experienced before, so that was good. Um, takeaways though, I especially gotta work on some of the anatomy and the underlying, con un and the underlying construction of it because um, once I started throwing the watercolor down, I started losing a lot of that con that early construction and then the bad parts of the construction was really showing out during the whole thing. So it was good so far. I definitely like how this came out. Um, out of the, the other two that I've done, this is hands down the best one. My thoughts on watercolor, uh, it's solid. It's solid. I do think uh, I should let it bleed a little bit more because I was super, uh, strict on keeping things within a certain area and i think the beauty of watercolor is to actually let the stuff bleed together but i need to figure uh, i need to play around with some techniques in the watercolor where i just let stuff bleed on each other and uh see what happens but this one i was super strict and making sure i was staying within uh specific uh, areas with light and shadow but overall definitely like how this came out and yeah that's it for this one make sure y'all hit that subscribe button like the video if you did and comment down below if you guys have any watercolor tips so let your boy know let your boy know but yeah we out of here